Hello? General CK here and I'm about to discuss to you the topic study theory or tachometric survey. We define tachometry or tachymetry or telemetry as a branch of angular surveying in which the horizontal and vertical distances of points are obtained by optical means as opposed to the ordinary slower process of measurements by tape or chain. So here we we don't use chains or tape in, measure, in horizontal or vertical distances. Rather, uh, by optical means, we can directly measure those distances with the use of the stagerad and our survey instrument. Other terms used here is the word stagia, which comes from the plural of the Greek word stagion. The word for a distance of 185 to 190 meters or 607 to 630 feet. A very similar length is the modern furlong or 8 of a mile which is 660 feet. Stadion was also an athletic venue with lengths laid out for a competition and seats for spectators. The Latin stadium, the Latin word stadium or stadia was a direct borrowing word with the same meaning. So what are the uses of tachymetry? The tachymetric methods of surveying are used with advantage over the direct methods of measurements of horizontal distances and differences in elevations. So here are the advantages and the uses of tachymetry. For preparation of topographic maps which require both elevations and horizontal distances, survey work in difficult terrain where direct methods are conven uh, inconvenient, detail filling, reconnaissance surveys for highways, railways, etc., checking of already measured distances, hydrographic surveys, and establishing secondary. Next. So you can see here, these are the different forms of stagia diaphragm commonly used on our surveying instrument. So when you take a look on the lens of the instrument, you can see either one of these diaphragms. Now, we use intachometric survey transit or chodolite and there must be fitted stagia diaphragm on our instrument. The stagia diaphragm essentially consists of one stagia hair above or we call that also as upper hair and an equal distance below which is the lower hair. So these are essential in measuring the stagia intercept. You need the upper hair reading and lower hair reading. So all of them have upper hair and lower hair which is used in stagia measurements okay so here's the formula for the side distance in stagia measurement now uh, this formula is only applicable for stagia measurement wherein the instrument is set up on a plane surface or the same elevation as with the stagia run now F over I here is the stagia interval factor, or also known as multiplying constant. S is the stagia intercept, or simply the difference in the rad reading from the upper hair reading and the lower hair reading. So that's your S. And cosine theta, if if our instrument is set up with an angle of elevation or depression but if our instrument is set up with an angle of inclination or an angle of zero from the horizontal uh, line of sight therefore our theta here is zero by the way this formula is applicable only for uh, solutions where 
the elevation of the instrument where it is set up is the same as the elevation where the stadia rad is also uh, set up. Now, if theta is 0, we can have a formula of d equals to f over i times s cosine the theta or cosine 0 s 1 plus f plus c. f plus c is also called as a stadia constant. Stadia constant may vary if it is uh, in internal focusing or exterior focusing lens. So, it will depend on to what type of lens used on the instrument. If it is internal focusing lens, the value for stadia constant is zero. But if it is uh, exterior uh, focusing lens, uh, uh, we will use a value that is specified on that type of lens that is used on that instrument. Usually, uh, it may vary from 0.2 to 0.5. Some has 1.0 value for stadia constant unless specified. Okay? Now, how about if our instrument is set up below or above? or has a lower elevation or higher elevation compared to the location where the stadia is located. Now, we will require here the measurement of vertical and horizontal distances, especially if the elevations and stationing are required in your survey. So, the vertical distances and horizontal distances will be useful by, with the use of stadia. Now, for the site distance, the formula is just the same. Okay, f over i s cosine theta plus f plus c. The horizontal distance, sorry, this is site distance. The Horizontal distance is just the uh, uh, horizontal component of the sight distance. Going back here, if this is your sight distance from the lens towards the midpoint, this is your sight distance. Okay, this is your sight distance. Now, the horizontal distance is right here. There, yeah, that's H. Okay. So, just apply a trigonometric function cosine for it because this is the hypotenuse. So, uh, side distance cosine theta. That's your h. Now, for v or the vertical distance, uh, just multiply sine. Okay? From the, for the horizontal distance, just multiply cosine on, you, on the formula or on the general formula for the site distance. Okay, just multiply cosine. That's why we, we have cosine squared theta here plus f plus c cosine theta. For vertical distance, goes to f over i s sine 2 theta over 2 plus f plus c sine theta. So why, why sine 2 theta over 2? Uh, when we multiply sine theta, because it is the vertical component of site distance, we multiply sine theta on the general formula for the site distance. Uh, we will have uh, V equals to F over I S sine theta cosine theta plus F plus C sine theta. Now, recalling the trigonometric identity for sine 2 theta, we have sine theta, cosine theta, plus cosine theta, sine theta, or 2 sine theta, cosine theta. So, uh, in order for us to have an equivalent sine theta, cosine theta, divide both sides by 2, therefore sine theta, cosine 
theta is equal to sine uh, 2 theta over 2. So, that's where sine 2 theta over 2 came from. Or you can just simply multiply the general formula of f over i s cosine theta plus f plus c by sine theta. It's just the same. Case A. If the line of sight is at an angle of elevation theta, how can we determine the elevation of Q? Right here. So elevation of Q is elevation of P plus H, which is the height of instrument. H is the height of instrument from the ground plus phi or the vertical component of the site distance which is right here then we will subtract r r is the stagia reading at the middle okay calling if this is your cross hair sorry we have an upper hair and lower hair so r is right here the midpoint of our cross hair on the stagia diaphragm okay so uh, we really need all the reading for for the upper hair lower hair and the middle hair for the center of the lens okay center reading for the red reading so that's it for elevation of q just add height of instrument plus V, then subtract R in order for you to compute the elevation right here. For the line of sight at an angle of depression theta, elevation of P plus H minus V minus R. So if given is the elevation of P plus H minus V minus R. So the theta here, just use the absolute value of theta if we have a negative angle, since we have angle of depression. Take the absolute value of theta in order for us to have a positive value for the solution measuring the vertical distances. Okay, sample problem. In order to determine the stagion interval factor of a transit on the field, the transit was set up at a certain point on the ground. Observations were made on the rad placed at a distance of 100 meters from the instrument and the readings were 3.125 and 2.123 for the upper and lower stagia hairs respectively. If the instrument interval used has an interior focusing telescope, what would be the stagia interval factor of the instrument. So let's solve. So here is the figure for this particular problem. We have a distance of 100 meters. So here we are required to determine the stagia interval factor of the instrument. So once we already know the stagia interval factor as well the stagia constant of an instrument, we can easily measure distances at any point without the use of steel tape. Okay, so here we have a hundred meters distance from stagia rad to the instrument. Now we have a reading for the upper here of 3.125 right there, and for the lower hair reading. 2.123 If the instrument interval used has an interior focusing telescope it is the stage interval factor so it is mentioned here based on our given that the stage interval used an interior focusing telescope or internal focusing lens so if we have an Internal focusing lens, the stagia constant is zero. Now, other given, we have 100 meters or D, or we can also 
use stadia distance SD site distance 100 meters and S what is S? S is the difference of the upper here 3.125 minus 2.123 meters so the difference of that is 3.125 minus 2.123 1.002 S is equals to 1.002 meters formula for the site distance general form, formula for the distance is F over I S cosine theta or since we have we are along the horizontal uh, distance and both the instrument and stadia rad is on the same elevation we don't have here an angle of elevation therefore cosine 0 is 1 so ignore cosine theta plus f plus c is d f over i is unknown so i will substitute now the given given is 100 meters equals to f over i S is 1.002 meters F plus C is 0 now 100 meters divided by 1.002 meters equals 2 F over I F over I is 100 over 1.002 99.800 or 99.8 meters that's your answer for the stage interval factor of the instrument now if you want to measure the dis any distance using this instrument just use this uh, stage interval factor and take the, the upper hair reading and lower hair reading next Sample number two, two levering rods placed at a distance of 50 meters and 100 meters respectively from the instrument, which gives an intercept of 0 0.488 and 0 0.980 meters. Determine the stadia interval factor. So here is the figure for that particular problem. Uh, we set up our instrument level surface we have no uh, angle of elevation angle of depression so the horizontal line of sight is set up along the horizontal now we put our leveling rod 50 meters from the instrument and 100 meters from the instrument which gives us stage intercept stage intercept is the difference of the upper hair and lower hair so this is already S of 0 0.488 and 0 0.980 meters. Okay. Now determine the stage interval factor for this instrument. So here, uh, let's recall the formula again for stage distance. Okay. S D. General formula is F over I S plus F plus C. Now we have two distances for 50 meters and 100 meters. So we will use two formulas, uh, two equations for this particular formula. First, let's compute for 50 meters substitute the distance 50 meters and unknown stage interval factor s is 0 0.488 plus f plus c stage constant is also unknown so since we are using the same instrument here at 100 meters okay sorry 100 meters 
their stadia interval factor stadia constant is just the same since we use the same instrument f over i times 0 0.980 plus f plus c by the way stadia constant f plus c is just single variable okay don't take them separately f plus c is a stadia constant now we have two equations with two unknowns so we can solve this by substitution or expressing a variable in terms of the other variable and we will substitute that on the other equation so let's say using the equation here on the 50 meter distance i will express f plus c in terms of f over i now transpose f over i times 0 0.488 we have minus 0 0.488 f over i is equals to stadia constant see this is equation 1 i will substitute that here okay substitute equation 1 here so 100 meters equals to f over i times 0 0.980 plus quantity of this one 50 minus 0 0.488 in meters f over i now compute combine like terms 100 meters 50 transpose minus 50 is equals to these are like terms 0 0.980 fi and 0.488 so we will have 0 0.980 minus 0 0.488 f over i minus 50 50 now compute sorry zero point nine eight minus zero point four eight eight zero point four nine two divide both sides by zero point four ninety two F over I or the stage interval factor is fifty divided by the answer 101.626 that's unit unit less so the stage interval factor is always near the value the numerical value for stage interval factor is always near 100 101 99 so that's the usual value for that if you find yourself solving the stage interval factor that is very far from 100 you may check your solution okay for stage constant just substitute stage interval factor here on equation one We'll have 50 meters minus 0 0.488 meters times 101.626 is equals to stadia constant is okay 50 minus 0 0.488 times 101.626 0 0.4065 0 0.4065 unit less also sorry. sorry it's in meters okay next problem the transit with a stadia interval factor of 100 and stadia constant of 1 was set up at a point P with elevation of 91 meters. Point A is observed with stadia intercept of 1.26 meters and the recorded vertical angle is negative 4 degrees on 1.65 meters or the rad reading at the middle. What is the elevation of point 
A. The height of the instrument is 1.5 meters. Let's compute. Now, here's your figure. We have a given of stage interval factor of 100 constant of 1. Okay. Now, we will set up at a point P with elevation 91 right here is your instrument now does observe rad reading and stage intercept is 1.26 take the difference of the upper here and lower here we have 1.26 the recorded vertical angle on the center line or on the midpoint of the scope is 1.25 Okay, the middle. Middle reading, 1.65 on the rad. And an angle of depression of negative 4 degrees from the horizontal line of sight. So, angle of depression, 4 degrees, right there. The height of the instrument is 1.5. Okay. 1.5. Now, it's required to determine the elevation point A which is right here what is the elevation again the solution in the elevation of A is just equals to the elevation of point P plus the height of instrument then we will subtract V vertical component of the site distance then subtract again the R or the rad reading of the middle. Okay, let's compute V or the vertical distance. Vertical distance is equals to if we have a general formula of F over I S cosine theta plus F plus C, we'll just multiply there sin theta so f over i s cosine theta or we can use sine 2 theta over 2 plus f plus c sine theta v is this one from the horizontal line of sight to the middle of our reading this is V middle mid midpoint of the run reading now V is equals to F over I given 100 times S S is 1.26 sine 2 theta Theta is 4 degrees. Okay. We just use the absolute value of 4 degrees on the angle. So, sine 2 theta is 8 degrees. 2 times 4. Sine 8 over 2 plus F plus C, which is 1 and 0, sine theta. Theta is 4 degrees. That's it. Compute using our calculators. Can directly compute that. 100 times 1.26 times uh, sine 8 over 2 plus 1 sine 4 or sine 4. Okay. The angle, uh, the vertical distance is 8.838 meters. So vertical distance, substitute now. Elevation of A is equals to elevation of P 
which is given 91 meters plus h, height of instrument, 1.5 minus v, 8.838 meters minus r, 1.65. Meters. Calculate elevation of A. 91 minus 1.5 minus 8.3 uh, 838 minus 1.65. 79. Uh, sorry, this is plus. Okay, 91 plus 1.5 minus 8. 8.838 minus 1.65 82.012 meters that's your final answer for the elevation of point A that's it that ends our lecture thank you, God bless